class 5. Hope you all are fine. As I'm going to continue with the same chapter. That is chapter 6. And the topic that is the blind man and the elephant. And last class we have done the half of the chapter. And we, have, we came to know that there were 6 blind men. Who were completely blind when they were born. As for them, they used to use the imagination about like uh, stories that were told by the villagers to them. And the most fascinating the thing that was for them was to to know about the uh, about the elephant. So day and night they used to argue about elephant. That they used to say that some used to have other kind of a point of view, and other used to have a different kind of point of view. So there was a clash between their their discussion between their point their point of views and there was always a quarrel among them. So finally the villager decided them to take for a short visit, okay, to not not to see, just to make the doubts make to make their doubts clear about the elephant. And finally we have they have reached okay, they have reached to the place where the elephant was kept. And with that, we are going to continue. So I'm going to read it for you, and you can turn on page number fifty. It's a continuation of the chapter. Okay. Since the blind men have already, the blind men have already reached. Now, what happens next? Let's see. The blind men reached the spot in the place where the elephant stood. And what happens next? The blind man stepped forward to touch the creature that was the topic of so many arguments. So finally, I think they were very excited, no? As they have just the play for the time, for the moment they were waiting to to feel or to clear about the doubts. How the elephants it was exactly so I think as they reached there, they started to, they started to like kind of to feel or to, uh, to, they were so eager to know about elephant. So they started their work. Let's see. The first blind man reached out and touched the side of the huge animal. An elephant is smooth and solid like a world, he declared. So the first man for, like, for touch the side of the huge elephant might be a stomach part, okay, from the side, and it it and they declared that it was a smooth wall and it is a it's a kind of wall. Elephant is none other than wall. It's a smooth, okay, and it is a wall. The first one declared, okay. The second blind man put his hand on the elephant tusk, oh, not trunk, and the elephant and he declared that. An elephant is like a giant snake, he announced. The first man just touched the side of the elephant and said it's a wall. The second one touched the trunk, this one, trunk of the elephant and declared it is a giant snake. Let's see what happens to the third one. The third blind man felt the elephant pointed task. It was right, he de decided. The creature is a sharp, deadly uh, spear. Okay, it said. Now, what is spear? It is one written on the board. It's a, a spear is a weapon with a pointed metal tip and a long uh, shaft, which the hunter used to use. Okay, it's a pointed, it's a pointed metal. Okay, especially it's a, it's a weapon that is with a pointed metal at the top and with the long shaft or a stick. So it, it's the third one delay, it's a spear. It's none other than spear. First one says it's a wall. Second one says it's a, uh, it's a what? Uh, it's a giant snake. Okay. The third one says it's none other than a spear. Then let's see what's the next. The fourth blind man touch on the four legs of the Elephant, he said, this is an extremely, extremely large cow. At least the fourth one, like they were blind, you know that. 
touch the four legs of the elephant and declare that it is a it's a huge cow see the difference how difficult it is to be a blind person isn't it and the fifth blind man fell the elephant's giant ear i believe an elephant is like a huge fan he said see the difference the first one said it's a wall second was saying it's a snake it's a it says a huge snake the third one was saying it's a what was it the third one is it's a saying it's a spear the fourth one is saying it's a large cow and the and the fifth one said it's a huge fan and the sixth man gave a tap on the elephant's score still that means so there's a meaning for the tap a hard or a sudden pull when the, the the sixth one came closer to the the back side of the elephant it gave a pull to a to the tail of an elephant and said why this is nothing more than a piece of a law old rope dangerous indeed he laughed in the meantime as he was pulling maybe he was enjoying okay in the meantime he was enjoying pulling and he said it's a it's just a rope okay the sixth one said it's just a rope and in the meantime he is enjoying also is laughing also so the six blind men started talking about elephant all at once so this is what was in the before also still they are in dilemma market okay? they are still there a doubt they are not sure what exactly elephant is an elephant is a wall is like a wall said the first blind man and surely we can finally agree on that the first one said it's a wall it's a wall it's a wall elephant is just as a wall the first one said a wall certainly not an elephant is a giant snake as the second blind man the first blind man said it was arguing no it's wall it's wall it's wall and the third one was and the second one is saying no it's not it's a giant snake doesn't want to agree with the first one the third one say it's a spear i tell you insisted the third blind man so insisted the meaning for the insisted is to state something forcefully does not want to agree and he's saying it is a it is a spear it is neither a wall nor a giant snake it's a spear then i am certain it's a giant cow the fourth blind man said that okay and the uh, the fifth one say it's a fan there's no doubt said the fifth blind man don't you see argued the sixth blind man someone used a rope to trick us so he, he, he was actually laughing the sixth one is little, sixth one is little funny also no in the meantime he was he was pulling the tail and in the meantime he was uh, was laughing also so he saying you all are arguing for no reason the sixth one is saying has someone fooled us just hanging the rope and saying it's an elephant okay so six one said it's none other than a, it's a, just a rope their argument continued and the shout grew louder and louder as the scene or the the thing is the same thing no as in the village also they just discuss day and night these and that and this and still now they are not clear what is exactly the elephant look like the force one the, the, there is a noise there wall snake spear cow fan rope this one like each and every and i say say wall it's a wall 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 and the one saying no it's a snake 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 the other one is saying spear it's a spear the next is saying cow the next is saying fan the next is a rope okay stop shouting said a very angry voice in the meantime in a, in a in a in a room this happens no this kind of scene we have experienced in our day to day life when your friend and you like when a, as a group come and with a different argument when there is a lot of noise it's so like you get it irritated no same thing somebody came and just said stop shouting somebody said okay then let's see what happens next it was the raja awakened from his nap by a noisy argument so it was none other than raja who got up or got disturbed by the noise or the arguments then let's see what happens 
How can each of you be so certain that you are right? Asked the king. It was very funny, no? They are blind in, in, on top of that. They are so much sure that and they were arguing that this is that and this and this is this. Okay. So they were not, this was a very funny moment. But, and that Raja said, how can you be so sure? And let's see. The six blind men thought about the question. And then knowing the Raja to be a very wise man, they, they decided to say nothing at all. It's not about, not about being a wise Raja. It's about its position also. No? Being a Raja, you cannot argue with Raja. And uh, Raja also said, uh, directly he, he said, announced that, how can you be so sure? So, because of his uh, such statement, they did not say a single word. Then, the elephant is a very large animal, said the Raja kindly. I think the Raja also felt very pity because he came to know that the, the six blind men were blind. So very kindly he answered or he guided the blind men by saying that the elephant is a very large animal. Each of you touched only one part. Perhaps if you put the parts together you will see the truth. Now let me finish my nap in peace. So First of all, he got disturbed and I imagine with the furious, okay, he got angry and he got, came up and he shouted, why are you making noise in that way? But after seeing their condition, their pathetic condition, seeing them, he felt very pity and he gently said that, um, the, 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 the thing that you have touched is only a part of an animal, that is elephant. So what you doing, what I did, what I, what you all can do is put all the parts together and then you Get a complete picture or a complete image of an elephant. So, for that, if you do or if you stop your argument, then only I will be able to sleep. Rather said in such a gentle way. He is right, said the first blind man. To learn the truth, we must put all parts together. Let's discuss this on our journey home. So, this is how... Their argument ended up. And so the finally they decided to. The the first one said, "Let us. It is right. Might be like we are blind, so we have touched different parts of our different parts of the elephant. So why don't we put all in together to find the image or to get the proper image or to get proper idea of an elephant? This is how their argument ended towards the end, and this is how." They finally are going to get the image or the imagination of the element, elephant because they are not able to see. So this is how they are going to imagine and make their own elephant in their real imagination. So, um, what I since this story is very easy and it's very it's very uh, interesting. So what I what I suggest you all to go to the textbook, that is the chapter that is in six, page number fifty, and have a loud reading. As if you see the difficult difficult and new words, meanings are already given there. Just you write, you just you go to the textbook, learn, have a loud reading, do the pronunciation drill. So till here we are to, for today I want to wind up here and yes take care thank you